This is Drom Shekasuto. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, how are you doing? Happy Chol Moed, Pesach, amazing days, days that families are coming together, that friends are coming together, that uh, faith is um, is rising into into our life's conversations and um, and people are like finding themselves talking more and more about the Creator, about about the redemption. I wanted to share a certain thought that I had with you that you know many people have different opinions and like everyone are grasping life in 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 a different way and some people base their wisdom and their knowledge and understanding on on true tradition and on on conversation that they heard from real wise people but some are just like talking nonsense from their guts you know people just like can express their forced frustration and and struggle and it's very important to respect everyone it's very important always to to give the other person the good feeling that you're with him and that his opinion is important but also it's it's very important to filter the information that is coming you know it's a uh, it's something very important to know that not every thought and every idea of every person that speaks to you is a, is a clear message from the Creator that you must take it seriously and to consider it and like people are full of nonsense and there are so many people that are just like filling their mouths with nonsense and it's an aspect of chametz that you you don't need to see and you don't need to have and you need to protect yourself from it and it's very important for every person to to filter the information that comes in through his ears and through his eyes and whatever he brings in into his spirit because many times like i said you can hear a lot of 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 trash of things that are not really important i find um, this advice that i'll share with you right now very useful and very powerful helped me a lot and is that when you talk to someone so try to listen to the place he's coming out from and not to his words necessarily many times a person is trying to express some inner frustration some sadness some bitterness some some sadness the, that he experienced in life like a desire for good or something and he doesn't know exactly how to choose the right words to express it and he he can be rude he can be loud he can be vulgarian i think you say and 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 sometimes he he gonna mock he gonna make jokes whatever and sometimes you're gonna feel not comfortable hearing him talking about those things but if you try to listen to where he's coming from means what's his real intention where really is trying to 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 what really he tries to express so then you'll find the right answer for him because to go into debates and into arguments with people and like immediately you create mm, you 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 create contradictions by like responding to his words and telling him no but that's not true and you don't have an evidence for that and that's not right and why you say that and like relax breathe let yourself think a little bit try to understand where he is coming from what he's really trying to express and to say <clears throat> and then you'll find the answer for him you can just like tell him you know i was also thinking about something else and I wanted to sh like you can you can take the conversation to a whole other place based on on what you felt that he needs you know just like try to ins to sense try to try to feel the other person that is talking to you and uh, in a humble way 
in a simple way you you'll find a lot of power with this advice to help others because the world is wide and there are millions of people in need and are experiencing great thirst for wisdom and for knowledge and for the right advice for them to be redeemed and to be saved and if you have even a drop of faith in the desert a drop of water even if you have a, a crumb of food it, it can revive souls even if you have only a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of understanding just the fact that you are willing to share and to talk and to be nice and 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 to listen calmly and with patience and and to accept your friend and and the fact that he's different and and not exactly like you is not scaring you off and 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 rejecting you oh no like what is he talking oh he's jewish no he's he's christian no he's muslim he's like this he's like that like go above the all the all the physical differences and try to listen to his spirit try to understand where is he holding in life there are parents that their children are in prison and that's why they're so terrified you have people that are suffering from 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 anxieties you have people that are sick and ill you have people that been traumatized by so many things and they're so hurt and broken you cannot not understand them like we must open our hearts to everyone and to understand that okay so now he's he's cursing he's now like shouting he's arguing he's fighting he's, he's, he himself is stucking himself on that silly point with no use and just arguing and arguing Listen, he's stuck. You, you, you must understand. He is stuck. Like, give him a hand. And you're not going to give him a hand by falling with him. And, of course, not with agreeing with him on something that is wrong. If you disrespect or dis, miss, and or not accepting this idea, you don't need to accept it now or to, to tolerate it. No, you can, you can take the conversation to a higher level, to, to, to a spiritual dimension by trying to understand where is he holding what where his pain is coming out from what is he experiencing what's going on in his life and then just like to hug him in that place to tell him yeah life is hard i understand some things are like very complex like really and then tell him about your life tell him about your struggles tell him about your doubts like uplift the conversation to a higher level to a spiritual level to to a discussion about inner things meaningful things things with purpose and uh, and i think it can do a lot of good to increase the peace and love and respect in the world people are talking against israel for israel people are talking for jewish against jewish like whatever and today with all things that are going in the world and Islam and radical Islam with with terror attacks against Christians and then Christians are attacking back and whatever and everyone are trying to bring evidence from the scripts from the Quran from the New Testament from the Bible and like it's not gonna lead us nowhere it's not those conversations won't work it's like everyone are digging their own cells their own prisons their own pits there's no way out of it no way you cannot define all muslims as you cannot you cannot define all jews as all christians as you cannot it's silly it's stupid it's not gonna work you have humans you have people you have crazy sick maniacs and you have angels adorable people you have holy people in all three religions, in all nations, even in nations that are following different faith that you call them foreign and they are worship worshipping idols, and like Hindus or whatever. You don't know them! Native Americans were worshipping the fire, the, the, the water, like, and you think that you're wiser than them, you know better than them. Who are you? You don't know anything. 
I promise to you that they had amazing life experiences with the wind and with the water and with the fire in ways that you were jealous and you would you couldn't dream even about spiritual excitement and 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 and, and experiences like they experienced so for that we need to respect each other and to try to understand the spirits and where they're coming from and to love and appreciate the beauty and the glory of their souls and spirits and to respect them for who they are and from or for where they're coming out from and I believe that with that advice we're gonna have much deeper and meaningful conversations and connections and relationships and Bezat Hashem we're gonna do much more good in this world and thank you and have an awesome holidays and awesome time with your families and with your beloved ones and with the Creator and may the Creator answer to all our prayers in no time and fulfill all our dreams and all of our hopes and that all of our goals will come true and, and all of our dreams will come true together as one. Amen. I bless you and I pray for you. And may the Creator bless you to believe in yourselves and always to be happy and healthy and wealthy. Amen. Hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.